Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We just give God praise and thanks. We thank him for this day. Amen. Another day, people. We give God thanks. I'm really, really, really just blessed in my heart. Amen. With the things that God is really doing with my life and presenting the opportunities in my life. Amen. Making them accessible to me. Amen. Resources, connections, link ups with people. Things are really moving in the direction that God has planned for me. Amen. Not my plan, but God's plan. So we just give God praise this morning. We thank God this morning for another day. Uh, we will, well, I will be speaking on foundational hindrances. Amen. They do exist. And we're going to talk about that in our daily devotion this morning. So I'm going to pray and just give God praise and thanks. Amen. Thank you for another day. Thank you for the power of the blood of his son, Jesus. I praise God that every every power that is working against my life is destroyed by the blood of the lamb. Amen. Every manipulative spirit that is designed and programmed against my life today, against my children's life, are counseled and destroyed by the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Father God. Today, I shall do great things in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. You grant me victory over every satanic device, over every temptation, over every hindrance that the enemy brings into my life. I praise you, Father God, that I am free. And who the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen. Praise God, everybody. Let's give God some shouts. Yay. Hallelujah. Uh, today, we're going to be reading from um, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 6. Genesis chapter 20, verse 1 through verse 7. And 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 9 and 11. And the reflection that that's for today, the enemy will the the enemy you do not rise up to or deal with will eventually rise up and deal with you. Amen. Uh, praise God. Uh, when you keep your mouth shut and you're not crying out to God, and you're allowing the enemy to uh, trap you up because you're not rising up against him. Amen. But until you open your mouth, your breakthrough and your deliverance may never appear so that's another thing you have to open up your mouth you have to confess the word of god believe that god is going to set you free amen but you must cry out amen call on god amen according to isaiah chapter 40 verse 6 the voice said cry and he said what shall i cry amen and a lot of times, a lot of people really don't know what to cry out about, what to pray about to God. But the scripture specifically tells us in the book of Psalms that we are to cry out to God. Amen. And God will deliver us out of all our troubles. He will deliver us out of all our afflictions. Amen. God is a deliverer. He is faithful and just to deliver us. Amen. But you got to try God out for yourself. You got to know God. Amen. The word of God says in the book of Psalms, Psalm 79 verse 9, it says, Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us, and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Amen. So we have to put God in remembrance. Remember who God is. He is the God of our salvation. The glory of thy name. God's name is glorious. Amen. His name is worthy to be exalted. Amen. But we must exalt the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives. Amen. Speak the blessings of God. Get connected, get linked up, stay connected, stay linked up with God, amen. Even around godly people, strong people, soldiers, militant people who know how to pray, understand spiritual warfare, understands deliverance, amen. Are not afraid of the gospel of Jesus Christ. They're not afraid of it, and they sure ain't ashamed of it. Amen. Praise God. Many people keep their mouth shut because they allow reproach to come into their life. Amen. Reproach brings shame. And some people, when they get into their little tight situations, you know, when they get caught up in situations, they're so ashamed. They don't want they don't want to talk about the about the goodness of God and how God can deliver them. Amen. But ready to receive a prophecy, <laughs> ready to hear uh, someone to tell them what God is saying to them. But I'm telling you right now, God doesn't always send words through a prophet. God will send word directly to you. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. We just thank God for this day. 
for another awesome day amen it says here in the book of genesis genesis chapter 20 verses uh one through seven it says and abraham journeyed from hence toward the south country and dwelled between kadesh and shur and sojourned in gira and abraham abraham said of sarah his wife she is my sister and imelech the king of gera sent and took sarah okay but God came to Amalek in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man, for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abelek had not come near her and said, Lord, wilt thou slay also a righteous nation? Hmm. Will thou slay also a righteous nation? said he not unto me she is my sister and she even she herself said he is my brother in the integrity of my heart and innocence of my hands have i done this and god said unto him in a dream yeah i know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart for i also withheld thee from sinning against me before suffered i thee not to touch her not to touch her amen praise god now therefore restore the man his wife for he is a prophet and he shall pray for thee and thou shalt live and if thou restore her not <clears throat> thou that shall surely die and thou and all that are dying okay dying this thou art this praise god <laughs> shakespeare <laughs> praise god uh it's very interesting because the the king brought to God's attention in a dream he told him in a dream about um he didn't do any wrong it was Sarah Abraham and Sarah amen and um <laughs> but God said but God didn't look at the action amen he looked at his heart but that's another teaching for another time amen so we're going to get back to the topic at hand it says here beloved foundational hindrances exist that you do not know that a thing exists does not take away the reality of it and that is very true because you don't know that it exists <laughs> does not take away the reality of it there are some things that stop your father and his father before him and they must not be allowed to stop you do you know there are some trends that are particular to certain families tribes or even countries do you know that there are particular circumstances that happen only in some parts of the world and not in others it is only a foolish man who will see negative trends reoccurring in his life and do nothing about it the enemy you do not rise up to deal with will eventually rise up to deal with you if you do not deal with a situation you are only reserving it for your unborn children to deal with you need to take it by force i am reminded of a foundational challenge that abraham suffered the lie that he told about his wife sarah was repeated by his own son in an uncanny manner how did isaac know to tell the same lie about his own wife several years later the foundation was speaking against him how come he also gave birth to a son who eventually known as the supplanter the greatest lie of all <laughs> jacob amen the greatest lie of all if you are going to break out of the cage that the devil wants you to sleep in then you must take your deliverance by force amen take it by force people amen you want to get out of that cage that the enemy is trapping you up in amen trapping your soul causing foundational curses to exist in your life amen you got to get violent and take it by force amen and say the kingdom of god suffer violence and the violent take it by force. Matthew 11 verse 12. 
Praise God. And it says right here, you must deliver yourself before the enemy of your destiny. You must deliver yourself before the enemy of your destiny succeeds to quench your star. Amen. No one knows how many years Hannah suffered in affliction. Yet the Bible tells us that she went to Shiloh on a yearly basis. What made the trip, what made that particular trip different? It was her cry. Amen. Praise God, it was a cry. And that's coming from the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 9 through 11. Made, she made several trips to Shiloh, but this time her prayer was answered. Why? But she cried out to God. Going back to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 6, the voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? You need to understand that there's different levels of prayer. There's different levels of prayer and there's a prayer of breakthrough. There's a prayer where you're going to pray enough is enough. There is a prayer of deliverance and salvation. There is a prayer of liberation. But you got to know and understand what type of prayer you have to pray. Just like this woman, she said enough was enough. She went and she prayed. Even the prophet Elias thought she was drunk, but she was so filled in the spirit. Amen that she was crying out to God and God heard her cry and he honored her amen he honored her prayer praise God but it goes on to say when the enemy sees your unshakable resolve he must let let go by force amen when the enemy sees you you are unshakable he can't mess with you amen guess what he, he's gonna have to let you go amen he, he's gonna have to let your stuff go amen praise God let it go in the name of Jesus my life does not belong to you I belong to the body of Christ my life is in the hands of God amen God carved me amen he said I would never forget you I have carved you upon the palms of my hands amen Isaiah uh, 49 verse 15 through verse 16 God said I will never forget you God has not forgotten you but you got to cry out to God. Put God in remembrance. Remind God of his promises. Just like every man of God and woman of God in the scriptures. There are these, these scriptures, these stories are examples. How, that, how we can overcome our adversary. Overcome the enemy of our life. Amen. But the overcome comes when we start to cry out to God. Start reminding God of his promises. Reminding him of the things that he said he would do in our lives. Amen praise God and God will put us in remembrance too praise God amen it says right here Jabez suffered from the day he was born till he was adulthood under a inexplicable yoke of sorrow without change his destiny of honor was aborted for several years what caused the final change to turn around his life it was his cry amen Elijah stood against the entire country of idolatry traders idol leaders amen but he was able to defeat and destroy them what caused his victory over bow it was his cry amen jacob spent several years wandering around in afflictions sorrows and troubles a supplanter he began to reap the fruits of his evil activities when his own father-in-law father laban supplanted his wages seven times hmm his destiny seemed to be aborted for years what caused his change and lifted him from one man to a nation it was his cry when are you going to cry out for the change when are you going to allow god to hear your voice amen it's so important to know that there is power in your testimony it's so important to know that god will hear you amen just like the blind man bartimaeus bartimaeus was on the side of the road and he heard the ruckus he heard the crowd and everybody was walking and pushing and everything he's like what's going on what's happening you know and the people turn around and say oh jesus is here he said jesus the man who heals Amen. I'm just paraphrasing the scriptures. Amen. But the scripture particularly tells us that blind Bartimaeus cried out and said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. I'm telling you, I have cried out to God for many years.
because of the afflictions and the approach that was happening in my life but a lot of that what was occurring in my life because it came from my father's side and it came from my mother's side and those foundational hindrances had to be broken in my life those generational curses eh, had to be broken by the power of the name of Jesus son of David God have mercy on me have mercy Lord I cried out and asked the Lord to have mercy on me and God heard my cry but you know it was a different kind of cry it was a repentant cry it was a cry that I wanted God to know that I was ready to change my life around I was ready to forsake the things of this world I was ready to be his servant to be his prophet amen my God, there's a cry that we have to cry out to God. It's a cry of deliverance. And God wants us to do His will, to obey His will, to do things that will bring pleasure to the kingdom of God here on earth as it is in heaven. Amen? Praise God. I just want you to be encouraged today. I just want you to trust God and believe God. Believe what God wants to do in your life. Trust in Him. Amen? Trust God trust him hallelujah we thank god for that word amen we just thank god right now and i thank god right now for the power of the blood of jesus the power of the blood of jesus amen the blood of jesus will destroy every satanic manipulative spirit that is programmed against you programmed against your household programmed against your finances programmed against your marriage against your children against whatever in your life your careers your education don't you know the power of the blood of jesus will destroy every work of darkness darkness in your life today break that stronghold right now with the blood of Jesus break it right now crush it bruise it in the mighty name of Jesus crush it with your foot amen break 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 it through the blood of the lamb amen confess the name of Jesus amen break every foundational curse in your life renounce every powers of wickedness on your father's side on your mother's side tell it it will not bring a cause and effect in your life in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise God hallelujah praise God hallelujah praise God hallelujah give God praise and thanks that he has given you victory amen victory over the enemies amen praise God Isaiah 54 verse 17 the word of God specifically tells us amen that no weapon formed against us shall prosper amen Praise God. The weapons of our warfare are carnal. But they are mighty and strong and pulling down strongholds. Amen. Strongholds that's been planted in our lives from family members on our parents side of the family you know the way we was raised up some of us were raised up by our grandparents or some of us was raised up by other family members if not our father or our mother amen but we had strongholds planted in our lives amen and those strongholds begin to build up foundations of hindrances in our lives amen and when we begin to realize that our life is similar to our father's life similar to his father's life it's time to break Mm. break 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 those foundational curses with the word of God with the power of the blood of Jesus make an announcement today I command all evil strong men working against me to be expressly paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus be paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus amen praise God pray be paralyzed command every garment of disgrace command every garment of disgrace and shame in your life to be roasted by fire God's consuming fire amen be roasted amen every garment of disgrace and shame in my life from my father's side of family from my mother's side of family be roasted with fire be roasted with fire God's consuming fire in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah who wants to be who wants to be spiritually caged i don't want to be spiritually caged but i know because of the foundational hindrances that was in my life i was spiritually caged 
Amen. I was repeating history. I was repeating my mother's history. I was repeating my father's history. Amen. I was repeating their family members history. Amen. And I had to break out of that spiritual cage. Break out of that darkness. Amen. That cage that the enemy had me trapped in. I had to get delivered and set free by the power of the blood of Jesus. I had to renounce. I had to renounce and repent. I had to break, break off associations and fellowship in order for God to work in my life to bring forth deliverance. I had to do things that was righteous in his eyes. Amen. I had to turn from my wicked ways. Turn around completely. Oh my God. Who wants to be spiritually caged? Do you want to be spiritually caged? Spiritually? Do you want the devil to trap you up? No, who do, who wants to be like that? I don't want to be that. I don't want to be like that. I don't want my children to be like that. I don't want my plans to be spiritually caged. I don't want nothing in my life to be tracked up because the enemy does not want me to prosper in everything that I do here on earth as it is in heaven. Praise God. Praise God. So every garment of disgrace and shame in my life. Be roasted by fire of God. Be roasted by the fire of God in Jesus name. Every spiritual cage inhibiting my progress. Be roasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be roasted. Break, break, break out of that spiritual cage. Amen. Repent. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. God wants to bless you. But you got to seek out to God. You got to find God. You got to search for him. Oh, not, not, not pursue God. Amen. Overtake him. Amen. Praise God. God will, oh, I'm telling you, God will do some miraculous things in your life, women of God, men of God. God will do some supernatural miracles in your life. God will do the impossible. Amen. I don't ask God to do the things that is possible for me. I ask Father God to do the impossible. Amen. I love to ask him to do that what I cannot do in my own human ability. But I know by his power, by his strength, it is possible for God to do anything. He is the God who separated the Red Seas. Amen. He is the God who sent the pillar of fire to lead the Israelites out of bondage. Amen. He is the God who rained down manna. Amen. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of Israel. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Israel. Hallelujah. My God is able to do those things that is impossible for me, impossible for you. Amen. Stop handing around dead people who are not doing the things of God. They confess God, but you can't see their fruit. You can't see the fruit in their life. You can't see the power of the Holy Spirit working in their life because they stagnated. They lazy. They not doing nothing. Amen. Oh, praise God. It's so important to be around those who believe in the power of God. So I thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that all my blessings that has been chained today, that was chained up and caged by the enemy, are released now. Release. I release all my blessings. I release all my blessings. Amen. I release them right now by the fire of God. Satan, I command you to take your hands off my blessings. Take your hands off the promises that God has for me. Take your hands off my destiny. My destiny, my purpose does not belong to you. I command you to loose it in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose it in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God said, whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosened in heaven. And I loose it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I loose it right now. I loose my blessings. I loose my promises. Loose it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I loose the fire of God. God's consuming fire. Amen. God said he is fire. He is consuming fire. God will burn away the dross in our lives. Amen. God will cleanse us. God will purify us. Amen. He will break every foundational curse in our life. There will no longer be foundational hindrances in our lives. Amen. God is setting us free. God is delivering us. Amen. But you must cry out. 
out to God. You must cry out to God. You must cry out to God. Amen. Don't stand there twiggling your toes and your fingers hoping that something's going to happen when you're just sitting there doing nothing. No, not so people of God. It doesn't work like that. God wants you to honor him. Honor him. Amen. Can you honor God today? Can you honor God today? Can you give God your best today? Amen. Can you give God your best today? Speak over your trials. Know that you are triumphant over your trials. You are victorious over your trials. Speak of your destiny. Remind your destiny. Remind your enemies that your destiny shall not be terminated. And you shall gloriously prosper. Speak life, not death. Speak life, amen. Confess, enough is enough. I will no longer be struggling in my affliction. God has delivered me out of all of my afflictions, amen. He has delivered me out of all my troubles. Amen. I will not be struggling no more. This time, my troubles is not going to be from my past lifestyle, from the way I was raised up, with all these strongholds that was planted in my life. Because God said that anything he has not planted, he's going to root it up. And I know right now, things are being rooted up out of my life. I praise God for it. I praise God. I'm no longer following the blind. Amen. I won't fall in nobody's ditch. I won't fall into the traps of the enemy. Amen. Because I walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. I give God the praises and the honor. And I thank you, men of God, women of God, for taking the time to hear the word of God. But I pray that you apply the principles of the word. Amen. And that you would trust God and believe God. Amen. And that you allow promotion to come your way. Amen. That you allow promotion to come your way. That you allow God to exalt you. Amen. It says, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. And he will exalt you. Amen. God will exalt you in due time. God is the one that promotes. He sets one up and puts one down. Amen. Let God be your promoter. Not man. Let God promote you. Let God send you to the places that he needs to send you. Not man. Because anyway. God's going to send you believe me <laughs> provisions will be there for you resources will be there for you because God sent you amen amen to God be the glory I pray that you enjoyed the message today I pray that you will receive your deliverance amen that you will confess the prayers amen speak life speak prophecies over your life and start trusting in God because God is a good God yes he is